Gemini Cancer, my beautifuls, welcome to your monthly reading. This is going to be for June, but before we get started with this reading, uh, I just wanted to say thank you. I've been feeling so grateful for you guys and very supported by all cusps. Um, and so, yeah, I just wanted to take these few seconds to say thank you because it's quite amazing. But that's not why you're here. You're here to see your monthly reading so let's get it started this is a general reading okay so you may resonate with everyone your individual signs are already up so you can check them out if this doesn't resonate and the world could also be reversed okay so let's take a look we are going to be focused on love here so let's see what is going on with you all right Despondence. Ooh. And victim. What is going on? Well, hopefully, we'll see how this goes, but hopefully someone here who's playing victim is kind of getting their ass together and taking some action to get out of that energy. Okay, because that is not a very healthy energy to be in. And, yeah, but someone is taking action. And I feel like it's to get out of that victim energy, but we'll see. Engagement, hello. And attraction. So this is a very strong relationship here, and it has great potential. There's a lot of chemistry between the two of you. And while one is being more present and more just going with the flow, the other one is kind of trapping things. And that is not good. Let's see what the tarot has to say. Good. Okay, we already have one. The death card, that is in your past. Gemini Cancer, June 2020. So in the past, we got the Death card. Something was trans was transforming. Something was done. It's looking like. We'll see what that is about. Currency. Wow. Okay. Current situation. The world. You're really putting like periods on things. I don't know if it's with this relationship. You could be ending a marriage. Or an engagement but the attraction is there so it could be other some other things possibly this toxicity around the victim card okay oh my god for the immediate future you have the ten of wands well not all is lost because ten are about endings so i do see some burdens being put down but before those burdens can be put down you need to feel those burdens and to be honest, I'm kind of feeling that that is only going to happen further, in a further future. The putting down, you know? Because currently, you are ending stuff, but that is creating burdens. Um, hmm. So what I'm getting is that, again, roles could be reversed, but I'm kind of getting that it's you. Putting it into things and that is creating burdens for the other person and they're like realizing oh no what have i done what am i doing well what do i need to do i don't want to lose them you know that kind of energy let's see your feelings four of pentacles eight of uh, wands and the chariot i see you being a little bit protective about yourself and i think you're doing very very good um being like that you're also i see you being very communicative this month um talking your feelings uh talking about your feelings just say things out loud with it. like you're not even caring what other people think you're just saying it because you feel it you say it and that's quite good you're the one who's putting the movement here 
or it's looking like we haven't seen their feelings yet but um yeah on your side it's actually looking quite good on their side we have the strength card the six of pentacles and the sun okay so what's the burden about because they are doing great too you could definitely be dealing with a leo we have here twice but they are super happy with you and i see things um aha uh -huh, okay okay so i just got it um the six of pentacles it's not really about balance it's them feeling that you're not giving enough and that's the victim they might have a very strong ego like they want everything 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 and anything and that is not creating the balance because and that's probably why you're being a little bit protective because you feel like you give so much and for them it's never enough that's the victim Aha! Aha! <laughs> so overall energy, we have the Seven of Cups. I feel like things right now are a little bit confusing. And I feel like you're trying to figure out where to go to get out of that um, confusion. Okay, let's start clarifying some things here. Let's see that Seven of Cups in the overall energy. Nine of Pentacles are higher than the moon. You're wanting independence, it's looking like. Um, independent, like, like uh, you'd want, I don't see you wanting to end this relationship because it's a very, um, you have a lot of attraction towards each other. Um, and. But because they're feeling so, they're being, they're not being a very good person, to be honest. And that is what's creating, like, you're feeling trapped and you want to, okay, let me breathe, please. Let me breathe. And that's kind of the thing here. And to be honest, I do see some, uh, like, trying not to feel that, but feel it. If you feel like that, feel it. And do something to take care of that. But I do see you trying to avoid to think like that, you know, because you love them so much and you want to be with them. So, ah, uh, you know, and you don't want to make them feel bad. But you need to feel good about yourself. You need to feel good in a relationship. And if you're not feeling good, then just own it. And that's probably why you have the eight of ones. You're communicating that very clearly. Okay. Let me see the... Uh, ooh, okay, the world card in your current situation. Okay, this is too much. Okay, this was, that was like the stop. Okay, so we have two of swords, the fool, and nine of cups. So it's like that confusion is coming to an end. And again, is that confusion from your side, like you don't want to make them feel bad and all that. And you're kind of struggling within yourself, like, should I say anything? Should I not? And you're, you're saying it. That's that fool. That's creating a brand new, that is, um, you're attracting to yourself what you want. Okay. So it's looking good. Let me see the Ten of Wands in the potential, uh, potentially in the near future. Yeah. This is your person. Five of Wands, Knight of Wands, and Eight of Pentacles. Um... Again, the burdens are on their side. They are, they are not going to feel good, but that is going to make them work on themselves. And they, I do see them making that work, okay? Putting in that work. So it's not going to be easy that for them. Um, oh my God, my dog is snoring. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know if you can hear it. But, um, yeah. Uh, they could have had a little bit of player energy here 
And I feel like they are taking care of that. Because again, they're super happy with you and they don't want to lose you. So let me see that. Well, actually, there is not much I want to clarify, to be honest. Well, let me see the four of pentacles in your feelings. The illumination in the swords, four of swords, yeah. You're, you're getting to this point where it wasn't healthy for you anymore. And you're taking the action to heal. To create stability for yourself. To get out of that uh, eight of swords mode. And I think it's it's being very positive. Okay. Let me see the chariot. Three. Ooh, okay. Things, I feel like this is going to happen really, really fast. This the tower moment, but I don't see it has a bad tower moment, to be honest. And this engagement, you could just be boyfriend, girlfriend right now. And their way to apologize could actually be proposed to you. Okay. So if it is, sorry to ruin the surprise, but <laughs> yeah. So some movement is uh, it's coming from you from your side. Um, but I feel like it's more what your movement is creating, this Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Um, I feel like you're creating a lot of stability for yourself, most of all proposal or not or no proposal you're creating that stability for yourself and it's being very beneficial because i feel like you're feeling freer you know you're feeling happier and that's very very important so it's kind of with that movement of saying no i can't deal with that anymore that is not healthy for me you're creating a tower moment but a positive one especially for you okay so let's see, because um, that tower moment is kind of releasing all the bad things and letting the good things show. So way to go. Let's see. Um, let's see the six of pentacles and their feelings. Yeah. Um, they tend to, they could tend to run away from their feelings, and that's probably why, um, it could have actually not be a thing of not, you not giving enough, but it's, it's, they, they have this tendency of running away, that could be that player energy, but they do have a lot of love, and they are making that effort to create that love that they possibly weren't showing you. Because they do have a lot, 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 a lot of love. Okay? So they are making, look at this, Knight of Cups right at the bottom of the deck. So they are making some move towards you to create some balance. Let me see the sun. Yeah, I feel like they have the Eight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, Four of um, Wands, and Queen of Cups. Queen and King of Cups, wow, that is a very um, strong connection you got going on. But this Eight of Cups, I feel like they are leaving their old habits to move into this very calm, grounded, um, loving and caring relationship, okay? Wow. Okay, so let's pull some final messages and advice for you. The Gemini Cancer, please. Ooh, okay. Anything else? So let's see. Yeah, so I'm getting that this is from um, 
it's for you to be aware of your partner's actions. Uh, do something that matters, and small things matter too. They might not go full romantic big gestures, but the things that they will do, it, they are truthful, okay? So we also have to keep an open mind. Keep an open mind to that. Be open to receive their gifts, to receive their apologies, to receive all that. Because I do feel like, especially having these eight of pentacles, whoever was having that sort of energy, um, which again, I feel like it's them, it's really making the effort. And the changes might be noticeable in, in very small ways, but the changes are there. So keep an open mind to that. We also have bubble bath and face mask from Self-Care Speedwell. So this is just relax a little bit, okay? Take care of yourself. Um, take care of your image, you know? Feel pretty for yourself, not for this person, for yourself. Create that stability for you, Okay. So Gemini Cancer, I hope this resonated and helped somehow. Have an amazing June, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.